It's already November. I keep thinking of October. Like it's just, it's crazy. So today I am at Chickadee Fashion Company in Ashland. So I wanted to kind of show you guys around this store today, kind of show you what I do. I'm um, sorry, my boss texted me about an online order we have. I'm gonna ask her if I need to fulfill it. Do I need to fulfill it? I mean, So I started at Chickadee back in July, I think I accepted the offer. So at first I just started off like a normal store associate, helping out her boutique and the mall that she had. And then um, I just started like getting the rhythm of things and like really taking a grasp on the boutique and helping her. So then I became the store manager. Cause she asked me to be the store manager. And at first I was honestly, sorry. I think I was a little nervous of the word manager, so I was like, mm, I don't want to do that. Once I started doing things, that's kind of what I became. So I'm now in charge of all of the stores and kind of help out with all of them. Um, when I'm at one store, I help with online orders, fulfilling those. So my boss's name is Hannah. Hannah owns Chickadee Fashion Company. She started it. It is just a local boutique and it's online as well. I believe she started it first online and then she moved it to Ashland and then the mall. And then she had another grand opening in Ashland and then downtown. So now she has her downtown location and Ashland location, those two. So Chickadee comes from a nickname she would call her daughter. She would call her Chickadee. So she has three kids, um, a girl named Emma, a boy named Dash and a little boy named Max. So she has three kids. I believe she's only 23. So she's an author of a book called, I'll show you it, The Life of a Pug. That's at Barnes and Nobles. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's about Hannah. Thought it would be kind of fun just to have this video about what I do and just showing things. So I kind of post a lot online. I'm um, like kind of like a boutique ambassador. I kind of advertise and post and kind of help boost things. So I'm gonna show you around this location because I feel like I'm just rambling on. So I showed you guys, or I will show you in a clip of the downtown location. So this is Ashland, I love this wall. This is like the cash wrap area. That sign needs to go out, but it's like actually, looks like rain got it. So it's not looking the best right now, so I'll fix it. And then let me see if I can actually flip the camera. We have these CC dog sweaters, just really cute wax melts, her bombshell whips. I'll explain that if I didn't in the downtown video. Some shoes, teethers, Chickadee Fashion Company. So yeah, we are in downtown Ashland. Well, not downtown downtown. We're just like kind of like the college is down there. So yeah, I continue to show you around. And then our fitting room is back here. Some more mannequins displaying out front. So, yeah. Oh god, the tripod's actually here today so I can take some pics. Even though I don't look the cutest, I just threw on a basic outfit, um, some booties. Because it looked pretty gross like it was going to rain today. So oh, I could have been way more cuter today. It's It's fine. So this is Ashland Chickadee Fashion Company. I have my laptop here, so it's gonna be a little easier for me to work on and show you guys things. I'm gonna to go to her website and just kind of pull it up for you so you guys can see it. And if you guys do follow me on um, Instagram or if you add me on Facebook, that's super loud. 
or um, even through here by me showing you things you can use my code gianna style it's a promo code you enter it online or you tell me or hannah or another um, store associate that like hey i've seen this item through gianna from chickadee and i'm using her code and then um that way you'll get 15 percent off and then if you use it online you'll get 15 percent off and free shipping every time i'll show you her website currently bringing it up so chickadee fashion company i love this font so when you go there it just brings up like one item and then what's a new kind of takes you to everything So yeah, I'll share kind of some of these. Oh, let's get that out of the way. Okay, I get it, I get it. I really like this shirt. This one is downtown, the Martha. I love the tie in the front. I love, this thing has been popping up on my computer nonstop and it's so annoying. I get it, I get it. If it does it one more time, I'm done showing you stuff on here. But I love this. <laughs> I love this sweater. It is so soft and cute. It is crop, but I'm a little uncomfortable with that sometimes because like obviously I have a mom belly, but I don't mind it. I actually really like it. The Gia is so heavy and like good quality. I love it. I believe I wore the Carla. Yeah, I wore the Carla to the pumpkin patch and it was so cute. I'm surprised I didn't get it dirty. This Paisley Ray collection. This sweater or this cardigan is the one my mom had on in my last vlog but in that burnt color and my brother called her snuffy i'll show you guys this one i'll see what all we have here that's similar to online so i believe this is the martha the turtleneck kind of idea and then this is the peppa I have a picture on my Instagram in this color. This color is super cute too. I just sold this to a lady for her fall pictures. And she was like, I really wish it was in this color. And I was like, you know what? It actually is. So I'm so glad that worked out for her. I can't even wait to see her pictures. I'm so excited. This is the Paisley Ray collection of the cardigans. Wow, it's really dark over here, isn't it? There we go. So my mom has this one. Well, I mean, it's ours. So, And there's a blue one. I don't know why it's so dark. Let me go on this side. I love the material of these. I wonder if it's because of my lighting. Oh, there we go. I messed it up. It's fine. <laughs> I really like this. I haven't seen this one. I've seen Hannah, the owner, wear it. Oh my gosh, it's actually really soft. How much is this one? 44? That is not bad at all. Wow, I really like this one. I want to see the back of it. Wow, super cute. Love that color. This is the Gia I was talking about online. Only $44, but it's super thick quality. I feel like it's got to have like that acrylic material on it because it's so heavy. Yep, acrylic. It's so heavy and thick and nice. Oh, so many cute things. Oh, maybe I can focus in. Oh, what little guy did I just kick? Throw that out. So I'll kind of talk about the Bombshell Bar. So Bombshell Bar is another little company Hannah does of more beauty products. I'm going to turn down the music just in case it's too loud. So she has lip plumpers online. Um, she has whips and we actually use whips. We use the 24K collagen whips at the salon I work at. And we use, I believe it's pumpkin spice, I want to say. We use the whips and their scrubs for manicures. And I'll see if I can open it to show you the consistent. Oh, good. I can never usually open these. But they are so, like, buttery. Like, they are crazy. Oh, that one smells pretty good. Pretty good. And then... She has more skincare, which is definitely my area because that's kind of what, that's the main thing I do at the salon. I love skincare. I love makeup, but you cannot have good makeup unless you have good skin. Remember that. So she uses this one. This is a universal primer as skincare or under makeup. She uses it at night and in the morning and before makeup. So this is a Vitaplex. Um, it has all natural ingredients it says apply one to two pumps to clean moisturized skin prior to makeup application but she likes to use it all the time so there's that one and i believe you can find this on facebook under the page bombshell bar 
and it has two R's and um, bar. This is a detoxifying clay face mask. I love using these so nice. I actually just used some the other day and my skin is feeling amazing. And then there's another item that I use and I love the most. It's similar to this packaging, but it's called Stem Cell Serum, and it's a more citrus vitamin C serum, and I believe it's called the Glow Serum. It is called the Glow Serum. So I use the Glow Serum when I'm done with dermaplaning with my, um, we have two dermaplane options at the salon, a basic dermaplane, dermaplane vivace. Dermaplane vivace is more relaxation, a little more um, just comforting and soothing and... A little more fancy so I like that one and after I'm done with the dermaplane with that dermaplane vivace I put the glow serum on you instantly smell the citrus it's gonna help with um, age spots scarring acne scars any type of scarring and it's gonna boost collagen I really recommend that I believe it's only $21 I don't see any at this location and I didn't see any at the downtown location as well so I think she has to order some more but I swear by that I use it in the morning and at night you guys ever have questions related to chickadee or if you want to order something i'll put the link to it below so you can just go there you'll be able to put my code in i'll enter all that for you guys it's just super cool that i work inside a salon where it's a boutique and the salon inside of each other and I, it's just kind of funny how it worked out i was working at another boutique area and i found out they were closing and i was like oh wow so i probably should find another job and at that point I just emailed Hannah. I just emailed her because I couldn't find her number or a store number. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to email her. So I emailed her and she got back with me right away. And I was asking like, I'm interested in job opportunities. And we sat down, we clicked right off the bat. And then um, I started there, but I was still working at the other boutique. Like I did my training at Chickadee. I was still at the other boutique because they were getting ready to close. And I was kind of helping them close out and finish out. And then I just started with Chickadee. And then at that point, I got a salon offer because I was working at a different salon. Within that time frame, I kind of mentioned that to Hannah. I was like, hey, I'm gonna be working here, but I'm also gonna be working at the salon because like that's, I have my cosmetology license. So I'll do like three days here, two days there. And then she's like, oh, okay, perfect. So then about two weeks of me working there, she's like, well, actually I have some exciting news coming soon. I have a meeting with them. Um, we might be opening a store there and I was like mind blown. I was like, this is crazy Like it just works out that the two places I'm gonna be at and the two places like I love fashion I love all things skin and beauty like are just combining together And I was like really happy about it because I was stressed out and like I've done retail jobs I've worked at like Alta Sephora I worked at exporting goods for a brief minute. Oh my gosh hated it do I really look like someone who's going to want to sell you a credit card and sell you fitness equipment? No, I hardly work out. So do you really think you're going to buy like hunting things for me and fitness stuff? No, you can tell like I wasn't, I had no clue. But when it comes to all things fashion and beauty, you can tell like that's where I light up and that's just where I feel comfortable. So I want to keep this video kind of focused on Chickadee and the boutique. So if you guys are interested and like my cosmetology journey and like the salon let me know and i will do a separate video about that because i would love to explain and talk about that too of course my thing's super blurry i'll show you guys that peppa sweater though this is let's see if it'll pop up This is the Peppa sweater I was telling you about. I was wearing the mauve color. Super cute. And then this shirt, the shirt underneath my scarf, and actually that beanie is from Chickadee. The shirt says Chickadee Fashion Company. I love that shirt. I'm trying to see what else. And this is the, I can't remember the name of this one. Let's see, the Carla. So that sweater right there, I'm so sorry it's not showing in good, is the one I'm wearing and I love that. Wish it wasn't blurry. So this is the grand opening at the downtown location. And obviously this is me and that's Hannah, the owner. I look so short next to her and so jubby, but it's fine. So that is Hannah. I'll kind of show you guys her stuff. 
so this is her page and then she has chickadee's page oh my gosh this is so hard to do i was looking like through the monitor and not that so this is chickadee's page there's me 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 i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah I always felt super insecure when it came to clothes. I felt like I wasn't stylish, like I couldn't find anything to fit my body right. And that was in high school. And all the girls there were so stylish, popular, cute, and I was like, great, they all have great fashion sense, and then there's me. So then once I graduated, things kind of changed, and then obviously I had a baby. Your body completely changes. That was a shock for me. It was insane, like how much it changes. I was already kind of chubby before, so then almost hitting 200 pounds when I gave birth, like it was just insane. I mean, I dropped weight quickly, but I still have like 20, 30 pounds to lose of baby weight, and he's two, so that's not good. But I had to learn to completely change the way I dress. I couldn't wear my tight, skinny jeans like I used to wear. I couldn't wear my leggings that were super tight and like a cute shirt. Like, I couldn't do that anymore. I had to completely change the way I wore things. I wanted to like keep my stomach secure and like kind of hide the mommy belly. So there was a lot of learning curves, but I finally feel comfortable. I was so nervous to find jeans because like it just didn't fit good. Like they were either too tight on my belly, but loose in my legs. So it was definitely a learning curve to learn how to love my body again and find things that were comfortable. But I honestly have picked out so many things I wouldn't typically pick out since I started working at Chickadee and seeing things from a different aspect. And I'm more comfortable. I wear like little crop sweaters and high-waisted jeans without being insecure. I will wear a dress and off the shoulder. Like I wasn't like that before. So I'm really glad and happy. And I love inspiring other people to for fashion and to be comfortable in what they wear. And even if you can't wear a crop top and skinny jeans and showing your stomach you don't have to do that you can find things that fit your body and make you look cute i know like when i go into a lot of like a kohl's or a jc penny's and you see these tiny little tops and you're like who are they trying to target to because it ain't me but i feel like at chickadee she does a pretty good job of having like a different variety of things and she really does want to cater to extra small to like 3x and she does have things that are extra small and some items that are 3x but she's really trying to find a distributor in a company that carries one item like one sweater and that size to the biggest size but for some reason it's really hard to find that so she'll have some items in a smaller size and a different item in catering to bigger sizes so and some people kind of get upset but we are trying to do the best that we can with what we got with what we got so we would love to cater to all sizes we are trying to we're in the process too. you can't let sizes intimidate you don't worry about the number on the scale don't worry about getting a 3xl when you're really not one don't worry about those things because there's been times i have to order sizes way bigger and i'm like oh gosh that makes me feel terrible like am i really that big but no everything's made differently like i used to be an american eagle like a size six or four in high school and now i'm like a 14. i'm like you know what it doesn't matter like i am comfortable i don't need to be a size four anymore some jeans have stretch some clothes have stretch some don't so i can wear like a small in one shirt and then an extra large in the next like it's it's insane i have plus size clothing and some of it's tight some of it's small so everything's just made and manufactured differently if you guys ever have questions or ever want styled you can come in the store contact me or the owner and we'd be more than happy to do that for you if you like this video and if you're all about positivity with body imaging and fashion and all things beauty then please give this a thumbs up because giving it a thumbs up just reassures me that i'm not making these videos for nothing and someone out there actually cares and wants to watch these because i i enjoy making these videos and editing them but sometimes i'm like who am i doing this for like i'm probably just doing this for me but if so that's fine but if you do like this video it makes me feel better it makes me want to put out better content and film more content so yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment 
with a heart any color heart and let me know what your favorite item was that you guys seen today i'm just curious just mine is probably either the carla the peppa or that burgundy one thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you in my next one bye guys